All right, guys. Back here at Nerville. Today, I will just discuss my thoughts on this season and talk about the new season that's coming up and what's been happening. So, yes, I could have done this a while ago, but I didn't because I was actually gone at all at my dad's and took a little break. So, but that event from yesterday, the the first one, I did record and put it on the channel. So, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I was able to actually capture my voice in my uh, reaction to it. It was decent. I loved it. It was a 7 out of 10 for me. Um, you know, great, great end to this season. Just to lead up for next season, which let's talk about for that first week for my thoughts of Chapter 5, Season 3. So next season is full on Marvel, again, just like Chapter 2, Season 4. My opinion, that season was my favorite. It was prime Fortnite up there with Chapter 2, Season 2, Chapter 2, Season 3. It, basically, the beginning of Chapter 2 was Fortnite's big prime. Um, I'm a full-ass Marvel fan. I'm actually trying to get every skin from the game. I'm kind of close. I just bought some of them that were in the shop. Not the X-Men ones. I have no V-Bucks left for those. Uh, I'm going to, though. I will rack up some nice heavy-duty V-Bucks for... And then apparently we're gonna have a full permanent Disney shop that will have all the Marvel skins, all so that will help me a lot more so I don't have to wait for those skins to come back. Now let's hope they bring back the Venom skins, because they have not brought those back in a hot minute. Um so yeah, uh, last night we had the D23 Fortnite event, which they discussed some upcoming collabs like they're gonna have Disney uh, villains, they're gonna have Maleficent, the uh, Crow of Ville, they're gonna have Captain Hook in the fall, and then also in the fall they will have Frozone, Mr. Incredible, and Elastigirl in the game, which is pretty interesting. I think that it's interesting. I won't pick this up, but you know, it's the first step to this whole Disney collab they're doing. Um, so that is interesting, and then Tomorrow in the shop, they will have more Star Wars skins. They will have two of them from the Mandalorian, and then there will be a Baby Yoda backpoint. It's a new one where he's opening the uh, cooking from season two, I believe. And that looks interesting. I don't know if I'll pick it up. I have the original Baby Yoda, but I don't know if I'll pick this up. Maybe if the backpoint is separate. But yes, a couple new Mandalorian skins uh, dropping tomorrow. And then this season, we got our first, and then after those three announcements, Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, came up and basically gave us the trailer. He was talking about the uh, other Marvel stuff. Uh, I actually died last match. That's why um, I'm in, it looks like a different match. Uh, but this, they gave us the trailer for this new season, and it was amazing. Cinematic fucking, uh, gameplay with it, too. Uh, peak. Just peak. We got a new Duck Doom. We got Peeleen Wolverine. Wolverine. Captain America Jonesy in the Battle Pass. Shree Gwenpool. <laughs> and freaking Mag... Not Magneto. Mysterio. Another... Spider-Man villain. The only Spider-Man villain we have are Carnage and Venom and Green Goblin. And apparently we're gonna get Doc Ock. It, it was leaked a while back. But we're gonna get Mysterio. And these are skins in the past. We're gonna get War Machine 2. So people that missed out on Iron Man can get this. Which is amazing. And then we've got like a Saber Tooth and Meow Fools. Uh, and then a Fish Pool. It's amazing. Fantastic Four skins will apparently be coming too. That's all amazing. Those are all upcoming Marvel skins. And it's just amazing. I am so excited for this new season. Now, my thoughts on this season. I will have to say this is not the worst this chapter. That's going to go to chapter 5, season 1. But it's not the best. Chapter 5, season 2 was my favorite this chapter so far. This chapter so far is up there with chapter 3. So it's not a good chapter. But I guess say chapter 3 was the worst because of their... Um, I mean, 
Season 1 and Season 2 were great. But Season 3 and Season 4 were not amazing. They were, ugh. They were just not good. The story sucked. It was, it was just went all over the place after Season 2, Chapter 3. It, I'm glad that people kind of kind of, uh, kind of was, was better in that chapter. So, yeah. But this season is going next chapter 3 for me. Um, or this chapter is going with chapter 3 for me. It was, it, this chapter so far is okay. But that God the Myth season was just amazing for me. I loved it. I've been playing for a season like that was kind of freaking Zeus and Hades and all those were in the past. And I'm just grateful for all that. But this season with how it began was so chaotic to where I could not even stand. I barely got wins. I got like two wins at the start of the season. And just the fist, the nitro, the cars were too powerful. Yes, I mean, thinking about the powerful stuff. I know people wanted all of it to stay as powerful as it was, but you have to understand, some people were not able to get as many wins. So they couldn't even play the game. When they toned it down, I was happy because I was starting to get wins. I was able to play the game. I was able to have fun with it. I'm getting so many wins now. I just got one, uh, like, a week ago. I got, like, two a week ago. And I'm aiming for one right now for uh, this video. So, yeah. But it was just all over the place. It was something else. Um, but then they toned it down, and it was great. And that's just... The fist were a big problem at the start. Then, it, it, they didn't even change Magneto's thing. They actually updated it to where it was more powerful. Which was crazy to think of. Um, but, yeah. They, uh, they just that thing up and it was something uh, but then towards the end of the season I was like okay I'm ready for next season next season next season when chapter 5 and 2 the roadmap got leaked for this whole year we're gonna get chapter 6 we're gonna get chapter 2 OG after season 4 and then when I saw that next season's Marvel I'm like okay this could save this chapter this could be up there with chapter 4 and chapter 2 for me because right now my list of chapters is chapter 2, chapter 1, chapter 4, chapter 3, or no, chapter 5, and chapter 3. So chapter 2 is the best season, like the most amazing season for me. But that's just kind of my ranking, that's just kind of my opinion on this season and how it's been. And I'm going to talk more about what was for you next, for next season. Chapter 2 Season 4 had the most amazing mythics ever. We got Iron Man, we got Doom, we got freaking abilities for skins that weren't even that important. We got Venom Mythic, which was amazing, which came back in Chapter 2 Season 8 with the card one. We got Silver Surfer, we got Black Panther, we got Groot, we got Storm Mythics. We got all of those mythics in that one game. And we got Wolverine, which was not even that powerful, but we got Wolverine too. All of those mythics. We're in that season, and it was just amazing. It was great, and I just love it. Um, and it looks like next season we're gonna have a War Machine Mythic, a new and improved Iron Man and Duke Mythic. We're gonna have dual Uzis, but yeah, we have all those Mythics, and it was just amazing. And it's just amazing to see how many Mythics we are gonna have in this new season like this is just blowing my mind this could be my first favorite season it could be right up there with the next Marvel season who knows it just this all sounds amazing to me of what they're doing and how they're doing it um but those are really just my thoughts on the season this season and this upcoming season of all the information we've gotten. Um, I want to talk about more about the event we had yesterday. Not the D23, the first event. So basically what this event did, it just, uh, if you haven't seen my video from yesterday, 
basically what it did was just it was fueling up Megalodon's ship. That's what the countdown was for. As it hit zero, all the pipes were filling up with nitro and led to a ship. The ship was halfway fueled. Then Dr. Doom, aka the Wander, hacked his uh thing. It made it blow up. All the pipeline blew up straight fast, and then the whole the uh little part that was fueling up that had nitro full that was next to the rig. Pandora's box was under that. All then that whole thing just blew up, not the rig, the thing next to the rig. All that just blew up and then revealed Pandora's box. That's what Dr. Doom wanted. And then as we saw in the trailer, he walks up to the box and starts absorbing all the souls and power from it. And <laughs> he I guess had all that power to I guess start this whole season and get his army of Mysterio, Sabertooth, Meow Souls. Emma Frost. We are getting Emma Frost in this new season. Uh, but yeah. That's basically what the event was. It was just a short three minute event. Which was fine. I mean, it, it was good. I was excited for it because they had a countdown. I was able to attend it. Um, but yeah, it was on my phone. But still, I was able to attend it. Which I was happy with. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on the events that happened uh, uh, this season and my, yeah, that's just all my thoughts of what's been going on recently and this season. So now let's just try to win this game. So I see the last guy, he is right here, he's very glitchy for my screen, um, it's kind of hard for him because he's just like flying around, weirdly, um, this is a different match that I'm in, I died last match, uh, he's just hiding in there, storm's coming, I got the Magneto stuff, I'm hoping to use this built in emo that Doom has just for next season, 100, I got him. He's in storm, he's taking quite a bit too. I'm taking a little bit too. I think I got him. Get out of storm. And I got it. Nice. Let's go. And we got crown one because I had a crown on me. Now it's night. Victory Von Doom. This is that was incredible. But yeah, hopefully I see you guys in the next video.